Hey guys, Craig with Meet Me Outside. How's it going, man? All right, so heading to Maine again. On my way, I'm gonna meet Justin from It's Good in the Woods. Uh, the same general area we went last October. And I'm stoked. This We're gonna have some more time this trip. Uh, probably be out there nine, 10, maybe 11 days. Uh, minimum 10 nights probably. And uh, yeah, super stoked. We've been planning this since last year. We, uh, we wanted to get back up here this year and it, and it worked out so we're fortunate in that sense that it, we're able to get back up here so yeah it's a beautiful crisp autumn day uh the color's fantastic i don't know if you can see it over there but we'll have plenty of time for that and yeah super stoked can't wait to get there i should be up there about noon time maybe a little later it's a almost a six hour drive for me from uh where i live where we live in massachusetts justin i believe he's got like four and a half five hours i think but yeah, we'll uh, we'll uh, welcome you aboard. Join us on this trip, and we'll have some fun. Yahoo! So we're up here. We finally made it. it took me six hours. Justin about four and a half, four, four, four and a half. So we're up here at the put in on. Um, uh, this is actually Spencer Cove, and uh, this is where we're going to put in. Same place as last year, right across the street from the Big Moose Inn. And uh, yeah, here's Justin coming on down with some more, some more gear. There's his canoe. Here's my boat, my pile of gear. Gonna try to single carry this year, folks. But yeah, it was raining for a good, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours on the way up. And it's still threatening, but it's not raining now. And that's always good on a put in, is not having rain. So yeah, man, I think it's around one o'clock, 1.30. And um, it's pretty busy here at the put ins. A lot of people looking at leaves, that kind of thing. Float plane just landed over there, or over there, and now he's parked over there. It'd be awful if he landed over there. Um, so, anyway, so yeah, we're stoked. 10, 11 days out on these lakes. Lots of good food. I got mostly dehydrated food and so a little bit of sausages for tonight, first night out. We can bring some fresh, semi-fresh food for the first night. We're not carrying it. So we finally got to this first campsite. We had to hold up on an island, probably a couple miles away earlier. The wind was like so bad, but um, it calmed down a little bit. Although we we're debating for probably close to an hour to head out or just sit tight. We really didn't want to stay on that island site. It was horrible. So we found this site that we've been wanting to come back to anyway. And we're on the, not the windy side, I should say. So. Just got my hammock set up, canoe pulled up. I'm gonna make some dinner pretty soon. Hey, dude. Oh, man, you put your set up right in the way. Right in the way. 
It's all right, I'm not oh, recording. sorry. Hey, guys. What's going on? How you doing? Hey. What the? Yeah, first time out with the, with the new chair and the Tyvek, the Tyvek base, the sand. Regular chair, not a chance in hell. Yeah, that'll work. Good morning, morning number one. Cheers. Good morning. So we're heading out. We had our first night in this beautiful campsite we had wanted to come to from last year. And uh, I'm really glad we made it over here. We were going to possibly have to stay at that island I was telling you about yesterday. We we're windbound on this little tiny island and uh, hoping the wind would die down. It never really did. So we made a, a safety and a group decision between the, well, group, the two of us to get over to here for the night. And I'm really, really glad we did. It was well worth it. It was a beautiful sight. And uh, had a nice leisurely morning. Now we're just packing up. Justin's right over there, getting ready to go. And we're gonna do some exploring today. It's gonna be great. Let's do some exploring, man. Yeah, man. Let's go check it out. Yeah. 
Hopefully the wind holds off for us. Yeah. See my katahdin over there with snow on it. So we stopped on this island to have some lunch. It's about five minutes of noon time. And uh, yeah, this is Monday. Having some lunch, just had a couple apples and um, a cinnamon raisin bagel, which is really good. I have a bunch of small little miniature bagels for just a carb source. And then Justin just handed me some dehydrated oranges dipped in dark chocolate. Yeah, you've seen those on his channel. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have a couple of those and really enjoy, all right. Check this out. Justin hooked me up with some of these dehydrated oranges with dark chocolate. Oh boy. Yum. Just fantastic. You gotta try this. Thanks, Justin. You're welcome. Mmm. Good thing, too, with this cool weather, they don't get all soft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are fantastic. Nice and firm and crunchy. Mmm. So here we are, we're heading out. We stopped at Big Moose Island for some lunch. And uh, we're heading out, we got another, another good uh, good piece to go here. And we're gonna explore a new campsite, hopefully, and take it from there. So far there's been a pretty good chop on the water, but nothing bad. And loving every minute of it, folks, yeah.
So once again, I'm using my Wobana Eldorado hammock with the uh, zero degree uh, Wookie underquilt. And that's what I like about that um, underquilt in particular is the no, you just connect it on both ends and set it and forget it. You don't have to fiddle with it. It stays in place all night. Another thing that I do with my top quilt is it's got a, it's got a cinch, a snap in foot box area instead of a sewn in. And it's got a cinch connection on the bottom. That only goes so far. So there's always like an, an inch or two space there where, believe it or not, when it's cold enough, you can feel a draft. So what I, what I usually do is I'll, I'll take a spare piece of, piece of clothing and put it in that opening a little bit and then cinch it up and so that it just blocks the draft from going in that hole. For a pillow and I don't usually use a pillow in a hammock but lately I've been doing this I got this really soft stuff sack it feels good on the skin and I take my down vest and just stuff it in there and the, the shape of it when it's in there it, uh, it really feels great on my under my neck. Works out really good. Good to go. This is one of my favorite setups. That way, a little view outside the hammock. And plenty of coverage. So yeah, this is our campsite for night two. <clears throat> Beautiful campsite. You probably can't see, it's getting a little dark, but in the woods anyway. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. The cedar really works good. Alright, abort. Abort mission. So, dinner for night two is some dehydrated noodles of some sort. I forgot the name. Rotini, Rotunda, I'm not really sure. Um, and some meat sauce with turkey, dehydrated turkey and a doctored up spaghetti sauce. Looks out really good. Yum. Cheers, brother. Mm. Uh, to an 
interesting day. Yeah, pretty fun first day. First full day. First full day. Yeah. So it's morning for my breakfast. Coffee, of course. Keeping it simple. Got some instant oats, walnuts, dehydrated apples, and about 27 grams of uh, chocolate whey protein. Gives it a nice chocolatey kick. How are you? Mm. One last look. This side of the campsite. You can see how low the water is. Usually goes up to that line there, lateral line you see. All this is underwater generally. So nice though. We saw that really big bald eagle down around that corner. We went as far as we could go and it got all rocky and impassable. All right. All right, all picked up, ready to head out. Start of uh, day two. Beautiful day, slight breeze. Doesn't look like there's a cloud in the sky. So we're gonna, we're gonna paddle uh, about a mile that way and to get to the portage and then we'll do that i think it's like a mile into first deb's can't remember the name of the lake maybe third deb's not really sure <laughs> anyway so yeah i had a great night got down to about i think 29 28 degrees last night um very calm peaceful evening went to bed real early like quarter of eight and got up a little after seven so got some really good rest had a good breakfast and we're gonna head out let's see what today brings All right, there's the start of the Portage Trail. Got my paddle yoke system in place, ready to go. I'm gonna try this. I'm, I can't really wear my life jacket with my pack, so I'm gonna try to just dangle it off the back here. Theoretically, I think it'll just kind of flip up like this and annoy the crap out of me the whole way, but at least I don't have to carry it. Yeah. Yeah, so we're taking a break almost halfway in this first port, as you think? Yeah. About halfway? About halfway. Yeah. For portages or portages, it's not a, it's, they're good conditions. It's essentially a cart road. It's, yeah, basically a road. Yeah. The whole way. Yeah. You could, you could pull a cart through this one. This road? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. A canoe cart for a sure. A canoe cart. That's yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Maybe not. In the very beginning, it's kind of rocky, but that ain't bad. Definitely, you could do it. Can you cut? Cut. Lunch. Couple wraps. With tuna creations. This one's hickory smoked. That one's Thai chili with a slice of cabbage cheese. And that'll be lunch. I dehydrated some pink grapefruit. These are really good too. I'm gonna have a couple of those. So just had some lunch at the end of this uh, first portage. And we're gonna be heading around that corner. This is Third Debs, that's what it's called. And uh, yeah, it's like one o'clock. A little breezy, but it's all right. Later. Here we go. Good to go. Back at it. All right, so we're approaching our second portage of the day. To the over there. It's only like 0.3 miles, so that, that'll be good. Yep. Yahoo. So, all right, we made it to that second portage to second Debs. This is where we stayed last year. We actually had a good time here. I think today we're gonna try to go directly across the lake. There's another site uh, that we haven't stayed at. It's just so beautiful out here. We're setting up for our third night. And uh, like I said, we haven't stayed at this site we're about to get to. We had stayed at the one I just showed you. So, um, should be good. You know what I don't miss being out here is the computer, texting, phone calls, distractions. I do miss my wife though, dearly. Love you, Shelly. <laughs> um, I wanna say hello to Koopa, Andrea, my grand, one of my granddaughters. I know she's probably gonna watch this. Hey, Cooper, love you. All right. So I forgot to show you my setup for tonight. If you can see it over there. Nice spacing on the trees. Nice lay, avoiding that rock. Up here in the main woods. Love it up here. So my dinner tonight, keeping it kind of simple. Got some ramen noodles, dehydrated broccoli, dehydrated turkey, and some dehydrated mixed vegetables, and a bunch of seasonings. It'll be good on a cool evening. To Ripa now. Wicked ripper bub. How's your uh, shepherd's pie? It's awesome. 
Looks good, dude. Nice. Stuffing. Taters. Yeah. Tater flakes. Real good. Eating good in the neighborhood. Good in the woods. Eating good in the woods. Eating good in the woods. Woo. Cheers. What? Here's my setup for night three. Worked out really good. Slept probably better than I have so far this trip. Yeah. All right. So we're looking at day, th day three. It's uh, Wednesday. We got here Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. So for this trip, I'm using this. Uh, I've had this for a while. This BRS little titanium stove. Got it from Amazon. It was like 12 bucks. I think I got it three or four years ago. I don't use it a ton, but it's awful handy. It's certainly lightweight. And uh, I've never had any problems with it. Works fine. You can use it on any type of these isobutane canisters. This one just happens to be a jet boil one, but yeah. So yeah, breakfast time. I'm going all out today, real fancy. There's some cabbage cheese, shop cheddar, on a wheat tortilla type thing, and some tomato paste. That's right. Don't knock it till you try it, folks. It's pretty good. Of that it's a massive pine tree, man. It's a real big stick. <laughs> so she said. Again. Again. Wow, check it out, man. Nice. Really cool. Oh yeah. Look at that, that's quite the, uh, it's an actual cave. Yeah. Hey bear. <laughs> somebody was sleeping in here. It looks like there was a little bushcraft. Oh, oh yeah. At one point, maybe a little bushcraft bed. Well, how far back it goes. I didn't bring any kind of light. 
Me neither. That's cool. Really cool. Really cool. Very cool. Right there. Right there, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it kind of ends back there, obviously. Yeah, these sticks are weird. Not really sure why somebody would want to sleep that way. But... All those damn bushcrafters, you know. They're... Yeah. I'd sleep under there. I'd probably go to the other side. I'd do something a little different, though. Yeah. Yeah. What are the, um, I wonder what the red on the rock is. Some mm -hmm. kind of mineral or Probably something? Probably a mineral, yeah. Very nice. And you get all that water running down that rock face and it's collecting all the sediment and nutrients and minerals from all the moss and dirt. And what do you see? Kind of, some it's kind of geologist or something? Is that what you do? You're I, uh... Geologist? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I think you gotta kill me anyway, then. <laughs> <laughs> the blue ribbons must be the PBR trail. So this is that pond, it's 0.44 above Second Debs, pretty much all uphill. Just a gorgeous hike though. This is called Minister, Minister Pond or Big Minister, I'm not really sure exactly. But just beautiful, just beautiful. It's a fairly big pond. And I caught another sign back there. There's brook trout in here. In season, of course. So we hiked about four tenths of a mile beyond our campsite on the side of Second Debs to this remote pond. And uh, so Erica and Lisa, if you're watching, here's some old man's beard. This stuff here, if I can manage, I'll try to bring you guys some home. Uh, you know. This stuff. All right, we just got back from that hike. That was that was worth the effort to find that little trout pond up there. Well worth it. Can't wait to go back there someday. So yeah, we're picking up camp. We're gonna hit the water soon. We gotta paddle to the other end of this lake to our next portage into First Debs. Weather's holding out. It's supposed to tomorrow, Thursday afternoon, evening, 
um, the forecast calls for 30 mile an hour winds and um, up to two inches of rain in a span of two days, Thursday and Friday. So today we're gonna head down, find a campsite somewhere along the way, obviously for this evening. And then tomorrow or early, we're gonna set up or try to find a place to camp that's somewhat sheltered too, so we can sit out that storm We'll probably have to bunk, hunker down for a couple nights there if it's going to be Thursday and Friday night. So mentally, we're getting we're getting a frame, a mind wrapped around that idea of having to do that. Not what we really wanted to do, but it's a smart thing to do. So we're going to be hunkering down potentially for two nights in the same spot. But it's okay, man. It's part of the adventure. All right, all packed up, pretty much ready to hit the water. Well, I guess we're waiting for Justin again, as usual. What? Oh, nothing. No? Nothing. There's a bunch of hanging out and relaxing for a little bit. You got a bunch of shit to pick up yet, man. Oh, well, we're not in a rush. <clears throat> so, yeah, once again, it's Wednesday morning. Seriously, we're ready, pretty much picked up, and gonna head out. Thanks for coming along. Really appreciate it. Got some good coverage today, boys. Look at that. Ongoing. It never ends. Like I said, we're heading up to the end of this lake to get on our second longest portage of the trip. All right, so we just reached the portage uh, entrance here from 2nd Denebskeg into 1st first, first Debs. So we're going to take a little tiny break here and load up and head up the trail. What a peaceful morning. Absolutely enjoyable. Had a leisurely breakfast. Hiked up to that trout pond. Absolutely enjoyed this morning. Yeah, it's a, I think it's a little less than a mile, or maybe a mile, I'm not sure. So far, this paddle yoke system has worked out really good. Pretty happy with it. So we're on first Debs, about halfway across. We got a campsite we want to try to get to over there. We stayed to last year. It's a really nice campsite, so... This will be the first site tonight that we've actually already been before, but the prior three nights have been on campsites we found or knew about and just had never stayed at. So that makes this a lot of fun. And there's a float plane over there. You can hear it. Perfect paddling conditions. Um, it's in the mid sixties today and uh, couldn't be happy right now.
All right, that was a good day. Good day. We stayed here last year and we had a good time here. Yeah. Day four. So with the impending rain coming, I'm trying to maybe not use my gas canister and utilize this uh, Firebox Titanium Nano here. It's a very functional little stove. Day number four. Good morning. I think what we saw was one of those stupid plastic things popping around. Yeah, I think you're right. That one right there. So yeah, this is, like I said, morning four. And we're heading out of First Debs into the river section. It's a real beautiful area. And we've got some bad weather heading in. But we'll make the best of it. It's called an adventure, right? <laughs> This is a gorgeous section right here. Really, really pretty. So this is morning number four. This is morning number four and we're heading out of the Debs into the, I think they call it the Deadwater area. It's more like a, a river of sorts with multiple coves and bays and nooks and crannies.
so nice. It sure is. Wow, it's just reflecting perfectly off the water. It's unreal. So yeah, we pulled up on the uh, in the Deadwater area, right below the falls, the Deb's Skinneg Falls, and we're um, gonna hike a mile or so up to actually get to the falls. We didn't do that last year, uh, but we're making the effort this year to get up there, at least take some photos and video of the falls, and it uh, should be great. Hoping the rain holds off, as usual. And uh, this should be fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. All right. So that was good. We hiked up to those falls. They were a little bit anticlimactic, but it was a good two mile walk. And you know, we're back in the boats, obviously. Have no plan at all. The rain's held off so far, but it's inevitable we're gonna get rain for at least a couple days. So yeah, let's do this. All right, so we both came down that little rift there successfully. Nice job, dude. Again. You as well. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, it was. So we just uh, picked our way through some bony rapids. Uh, with uh, minimal scraping and banging on the canoes. So that's good, got lucky. And uh, it's only by two o'clock. Supposed to get heavy rain tonight, all day tomorrow and Friday night. So we've decided pretty much, we might stay here. This is a pretty nice area here. Um, it's well protected from the wind. There's plenty of trees to hang from. Plenty of firewood, so it's not a bad place to post up for a couple of days. To do that, I move on and, uh, you know, hopefully find a spot or a stealth camp somewhere. But in a sense, this is stealth camping as well. There's no firing here, but um, it's not out of the question to camp here in our book. Plenty of water, obviously. So, yeah, I think we're going to, pretty sure we're going to post up here. In the event we... Uh, Move on, I'll let you know. It's been a long day. It's only two o'clock and it's been a long day. <laughs> yeah! One of the things I like most about adventuring like this, uh, especially with somebody like-minded like Justin, is um, you know, as much as we do during the day by taking side hikes and adventuring and looking around and paddling and all the stuff that goes along with adventuring in Maine or the Adirondacks, one of the things that I really count on and look forward to, and it's kind of a heartwarming thing to me, is getting your, you know, your setup set up. And then now, no matter what happens, I have a warm, dry place to go at the end of the day. So there's not much can, I mean, there's a lot that can go wrong, but 
up until this point, you know, being safe about things and just having an absolute blast. It's always good to know once you get set up, preferably not in the rain, that if it rains or snows, you're going to be warm and dry. That's just icing on the cake for me. It's, uh, it's all part of the camping fun, uh, which is just as much fun to me, if not more, than the paddling. So here's Justin's setup once again. He's using the uh, Superior Gear hammock and it's ready for what, 30 degrees? Yep. The underquote, built in underquote, along with the War Bonnet Superfly. Nice setup. He's ready to weather out this storm. Real nice. That's a nice. Yeah. All right. All right, so just got my setup set up. And according to the uh, folks we met the other day, Bill and Linda that own that uh, cabin that we passed on Tuesday or Monday, no, Monday, they're saying that we're supposed to get tonight 30, 30 mile an hour winds and up to two inches of rain. So from the south, so that's due south. So the way I've got my, uh, right now I've just got it in porch mode so I can sit under it and cook if I need to. but. I got the other side pulled down really tight, or I should say close to the ground, you can see, close to the ground, keep the wind out, rain out, and uh, yeah, should be good. If the wind happens to change, I can switch it out really quick, just drop this side and raise that side if I wanted to, or go, just go out all out storm mode and drop both sides, but I don't usually do that unless it's really, really windy. Or cold out but yeah this should work out fine I got plenty of room under there to cook and lounge around if we're if we're held up here for a couple days yeah so yeah um, now that I got my setup set up I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna eat something I didn't really eat breakfast this morning so I'm really really hungry it's about 2 2 2 30 right now so I'm gonna um, probably cook up an early early dinner late lunch some dehydrated pasta with meat sauce and cheese yum I'm freaking starving right now and um, I just got to eat I'm getting that weird feeling you know what I'm saying Tomato paste, just for an extra kick. Added some extra ground turkey. And this is smoked paprika, garlic salt, salt onion powder. Or excuse me, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika. Yahoo. So hungry. Parmesan cheese on there. Oh yeah. 
Good stuff. It's so good. Yum. Dehydrated rice, yeah, instant rice. <laughs> I'm, tired, folks. I'm beat, man. That means a variety of things, though, right? It could mean a lot of different things, yeah. All right, Justin just got the fire going for Thursday evening. I've already eaten, like you saw. I was, I hadn't eaten all day, so I ate earlier. I'm so stuffed still, so I'm good. Justin's gonna prepare himself an awesome meal as usual. And uh, we're on this site that hasn't been used in probably 60 years, man. We stumbled across it, and it was a good place to post up today, possibly two days, with the rain coming in. But, yeah, got a nice fire going. And uh, that's about it for now, folks. rain finally started about 10 30 last night it's been raining all night it's super windy so far so good it's supposed to be like this all day and all all night friday night so it's gonna be a long time waiting to storm out the winds are gusting to 20 25 almost 30 miles an hour so we really can't paddle so this is gonna be it for a while I'll keep you updated, please. <clears throat> All right, it's Friday. It's about 9.30 in the morning. It's been raining steadily, although it's let up just a little bit. Last half hour or so. Made myself some coffee. Walked around a bit. I got some uh, nice dehydrated soup, turkey, broccoli, mixed vegetables, all kinds of seasonings. Some dehydrated uh, ash brown potatoes. They hydrate well in the soup. So I'll be cooking that up in a minute for some lunch, early lunch. Hadn't eaten since yesterday, about 1.30. <sighs> Justin's over there. I can't see him. Over there. Hanging out, doing the same thing. And the weather's supposed to be like this until tonight. And then it's supposed to get uh, more intense. One to two inches of rain. Heavy winds. So we're just doing what we can to batten down the hatches and stay dry. And then tomorrow morning, Saturday... I guess it's supposed to clear up early, or at least stop raining early, so we can get the heck out of here and uh, continue on our journey. Um, yeah, that's my latest update. Thanks for watching. See you soon.
Yeah, so it's almost noon time and my soup's ready. Nothing like hot soup on a blustery, damp, cold day. It's got all kinds of goodies in it. Beans, turkey, broccoli, corn, spices. Yum. So, at one point I had a, uh, <clears throat> a wool bonnet Superfly, a 13 foot that I would use with my uh, wool bonnet Ridge Runner um, hammock. But I, I found it was usually too much tarp to handle most of the time, so I got rid of it. And so now that I'm using this uh, 10 by 11 wool bonnet Cloud Burst rectangle tarp, I really love it. But what I do when I want to have protection on one end is I already had this Rab. Uh, five by seven sill nylon tarp it's really lightweight well, I, I've configured it so that I can use it on either end of my hammock if need be I I just tie it to the ridge line up there and I got a couple uh, on the outside I'd show you but I don't want to get wet I got a couple um, bungee clips going to each tie out up high and then I just stake it out on the bottom and it really closes off the end really nice a lot of extra storage back there and it definitely blocks the wind. Works really good for me. Good morning. So it's Saturday morning. The rain's finally stopped. Oh, we got here mid Thursday afternoon and it started to rain harder Thursday night all day yesterday really hard last night and just finally stopped about an hour ago so now it's just residual blown off the trees but yeah so this is what hunkering down for two days looks like tarp held up superbly no complaints at all nice and dry under there and I mean heavy, heavy rain. Pretty high wind gusts. Still windy. Use these tie outs on each side. Couldn't be happier with the tarp and the hammer. I did have a problem with drip, my drip line. I had a string here just wasn't cutting it, so I used an old, unfortunately a sock that I burnt too close to the fire the other night. It's like a way overkill drip line, but it worked. <laughs> it worked. And then my, I think I talked about this earlier too. I used this little Rab five by seven tarp I have. I just got it cinched up to the, the ring on the other tarp right there. And the tile point there. I got to stretch a bungee over to that tile point on each side here and there. And I pull out there, stake it down, stake it down there. Boom. Got a close in end. Worked tremendous. I've used it before, but this is the first time I've used it in high wind and heavy rain. It worked out great. So I don't really need the door kit. Like I said, in the past, I've owned the Superfly with doors, and I just found it to be too much. Too much all the time. Too much tarp, if that makes sense. But I'm super happy with this resolution. It worked out good. I can put it on either end, whatever, wherever the prevailing wind's coming from. But enough of that. We're going to see what happens today. I think we're going to try to paddle back. To get to our landing spot, I think I'll discuss with Justin. I see he's up, he's over there moving about. I think we're gonna head back there, resupply, and head back out for a few days. But we'll play it by ear, we'll see. Either way, what an adventure this has been. We didn't plan on staying here two nights or being rained in. 
and windbound for two days, but mainly one whole day yesterday, but half a day Thursday, all day yesterday. So yeah, I know he's itching to get out. I certainly am, so um, stay tuned. <clears throat> So for today's breakfast, it's kind of unorthodox, but tasty as heck. I'm bringing back this uh, dehydrated turkey, ground turkey, with a whole bunch of nice spices, smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder. I'll be adding some Idahoan baby reds, some Parmesan cheese, and that's breakfast for today. By the way, this little BRS stove, I really love this thing. You can simmer right down, simmer's fine weighs like an ounce haven't had any mechanical problems with it yet cheers all right so the rain still held off we're all packed up we're heading across this little island or the rest of the island to get back under the water there's some rapids that run that's the reason we're portaging this or we did because or we camped here because there's some pretty good rapids right out there there's my dry spot you can kind of see it from my tarp set up Nothing but success there last night. Um, had a little trouble with my drip line, I had to modify that. But it's probably the heaviest rain I've ever been in, camping in general ever. Um, really super hard rain for a long time, most of the night. But nice and dry under there. You can kind of see the footprint of the tarp. Like I said, Justin's waiting for me over there. I got my one bag to go, get over there, and uh, we're gonna head out. Yeah, the uh, Amber Jesus Boathouse. I guess it's it's remnants of the uh, tremendous logging industry around these parts back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And further on, maybe into the 40s and 50s. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, I think it's some sort of uh i'll have to read do some sort of reading on it i think it's some sort of museum of sorts and in, in season where you can look inside but i'm not positive awesome lighting out here it's fabulous dude <clears throat> so yeah you got the what's it called the hunt look at that Buffalo chicken and avocado and stuff. Nice. Bacon. And I got the uh, chimney. It's bacon, Canadian bacon, gouda cheese, barbecue sauce, caramelized onions. Yum. These are awesome. Yeah. This place is awesome. Mm -hmm. What's it called? Northwoods Trading Post. Oh, yeah. Northwoods Trading Post. Right on the edge. This is where we parked. Right across the street. Not a bad place to enjoy the late afternoon. Did I mention my Tyvek chair base is working out really good? Yeah, it really is. It's been a good test for it this week. I've used it on pine needles, soft dirt, sand. Hasn't let me down yet.
So it's Sunday morning. Um, we headed out last Sunday out on these waters and man, a week flew by. Had some fantastic times, including this beautiful morning. Couldn't be any better. Mid forties, hot coffee. And some uh, rolls. <laughs> and believe it or not, I'm dipping it in this. This uh, bacon horseradish dipping stuff. It's actually pretty good this morning. This stuff. Picked it up yesterday at the store. It's a trading post. Yeah. All right. Almost done packing up for this morning. We're gonna be heading out around this corner, the point we're on, into a fairly stiff wind, but we're hoping to stay to the right and maybe get back down to Moose Island for tonight and then potentially head back this way tomorrow or maybe camp here again tomorrow night, see how it goes. And there's rain coming in Tuesday, so we might bail Tuesday morning and head home. But so far, what a fantastic trip this has been. Really, really been a pleasure uh, adventuring out here with Justin. Um, knock on wood so far, there's been, uh, you know, no tragedies or injuries or anything like that. Um, no gear failures to speak of, really. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's been a blast. So we just had lunch here on uh, Big Moose Island. And now we're gonna, now that the wind's died down a little bit, we're gonna head over in that direction. It's, I don't know, probably a three, three mile paddle. We're gonna head this way and then go that way. So we'll be working against the breeze for a mile or so, and then we'll turn this way and let it help us down that far shore. There's a, cluster of islands over in there we've never been to so we're gonna go check it out and apparently there's a possibly a campsite on one of the islands so so we'll find it for this evening we were if the wind hadn't have subsided we were gonna stay here and uh camp here again but um it's really died down a lot so we can get out there and make this happen Mount Katahdin and its glory. There it is. Lady Slipper Island, I believe it's called. That's where home is tonight, Sunday night. Justin pulled up over there a few minutes ago. I've just been out here exploring these coves. So nice. Can't keep saying it, but I do. Just gorgeous. Here's home for tonight. Beautiful little island. Yeah, cooking up some food. Like I said, just ready to eat some dinner. This wonderful island campsite. Cabbage stew. Yeah, Justin made that dehydrated cabbage stew. Yay. 
I haven't decided what I'm gonna have yet. Sunday night. What a perfect day. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good. How are you? Feels good to get some hot food in the belly. Yeah, it does. That's the uh, cabbage stew. Mm -hmm. Cabbage soup. Nicely done, man. It looks fantastic. It's really good. Really good. Got some zip to it. Right? Any peppers in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Some hot cherry peppers from my garden. Yeah. Cayenne and crushed red. Nice. Nice job, man. I'll do. Oatmeal with dehydrated apple slices, cinnamon, walnuts, and coffee. So morning number eight, right? Yeah. Eight. yeah. eight mornings up here in Maine, and we have some weather coming in. It's inevitably going to rain later on, 100%, they're saying. Poor. Yeah, poor. So this is pretty much going to be it for this trip. We're going to paddle, what is it, three, four miles out of here? Yep. No. And uh, call it a trip. It's been a fun time, as always, with Justin. Yeah, buddy. Uh, it's a blast adventuring with you, man. Good stuff. Some buddy. really good stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tons of fun. Boink. Ooh. Yeah. So we're going to head out. And thanks for coming along. Make sure you check out Justin's channel. It's good in the woods. Yeah, and, buddy. Thank you. And I'm Craig from Meet Me Outside. See you, see you next time. Peace. Later, guys. So once again, it's Monday morning. This is our eighth morning out here. And we're going to call it short by a couple days. We have uh, the forecast is calling for heavy, heavy rain later on today and tonight, 100% with uh, maybe a half inch of total rainfall, if not more. So instead of sitting around again in the rain for a couple of days, we're just gonna call it, but it's been a fantastic trip. Don't regret a thing, had some good times, some great, great campsites. And we've, we've found some campsites just by doing some, you know, putting a little effort and doing some exploring. We found three or four, maybe five campsites that we just didn't know were around. But you know, like I said, with a little effort, you can find them if, old abandoned campsites it's kind of fun really fun so having said that i'll probably sign off on this one thanks for coming along don't forget to look at justin's channel it's good in the woods i'm craig from meet me outside see you next time peace Doesn't get much better than that, right? Spectacular view.